Okay, I've just heard two hedgehogs sniffing in my garden and it was this one here. This is a female hedgehog. This is one I've called two black because I've put two black spots on her. And she was sniffing at a male that's inside this box called uh, one ultramarine. She was trying to fend him off basically. One ultramarine's wanting to mate and she's not. I just picked her up and she's covered in ticks. So I'm going to show you how to remove ticks. First thing I need to do is I'll film what how many ticks she's got on her, her belly is covered in them and she's got some near her ears. So first, obviously wearing thorn proof gardening gloves to handle her, otherwise it's a very painful experience. I'm just going to hold her up in a bit of an odd position so I can show you what I mean by ticks. Look at that, see those great big grey things? They're sucking the blood out of her. So there's two great big grey ones there. There's one about halfway down that's white. Ticks are usually either whitish or greyish like that. So that's at least three underneath it. Oh, there's one on the side there. I don't know if you can see that. Four. There's at least four underneath her. There's one on the side there. Five. So I've got a bit of work ahead of me. And then look behind her ears. There's one, two, three there at least. Oh, God, she's covered in them. Look, look. She's got four right next to her there. So this is going to take a bit of time. That's her teeth, that black bit there. That's her teeth, so perhaps she's already got babies. Perhaps. Anyway, so I've got a head torch on my on my head I'm going to put on, so I've got a bit of light. I've discovered that's the easiest way to um, do this. And then you obviously need proper tools to remove them. And I think you can see the packet there. O-Tom's Tick Twister. And you get two little tools like that. And they're basically just little plastic hook things and then you need to have a, a just have a, a spare empty milk bottle you can put the ticks into when you're taking them off and then what you do is get the tick to its tool and you basically slot the tool around the tick so it's so the tick's stuck in between the groove see that and then twist clockwise one two usually within two twists it's come off can you see that and you might just be able to see if you do it the proper way, you get, oh, there you go. You can just about see its legs, the legs of the tick. There you go. Ugh. So pop that into a uh, milk bottle. And then you put the lid on the milk bottle and throw it away in your bin. Right, so I'm just going to... Okay, number two off. Ugh. I'm just going to do this as quick as I can because it, it can be a real hassle to do this. Three, and do not touch ticks with your bare hands. They can carry a disease that affects humans, and it can potentially even be fatal to humans. I'm not joking. It's called Lyme's disease, right? Number four, I think that is. Number five. The ones that are on the side where there's no spines are usually pretty easy to get at. Yep, number six. Uh, the disease you can get is called, oh, there you can actually see a bit of the hedgehog blood when it just released. Can you see that spot of red? So they're sucking the blood out of the hedgehog. And ticks, I once put a tick inside a bottle and I forgot to throw the bottle away for a few days and I looked inside. One tick can have literally hundreds, if not thousands of eggs inside it. So one tick can turn into absolutely tons more. So, um... If you remove them from a hedgehog, you're preventing the hedgehog from being absolutely infested with them in the future. Because they can rapidly, um, as I said, have absolutely hundreds of them. That's the, the male that's in the boxes <laughs> rummaging around. You can probably hear him banging around. All right. Ugh. Once I've done all this, I will then... Um, I will then... That one there. I think it's just a bit dirt behind your ear. Right, so I'll remove all those ones from behind your ear and the ones on the side there. Let's have a. Oh, that's her teats. Don't try and remove her teats. Now, it gets much more difficult to remove them when the ticks are up in between the spines because you can get the tick twister tool wrapped around the spines. So uh, you've got to do this very carefully. You don't want to pull out any of the hedgehog spines. So uh, it's very difficult to film and show exactly what I'm doing. But anyway, you've got the idea. That's how to use the tool. Let's try and move the camcorder a bit so you can see a bit more of what I'm doing. 
and that's her sniffing at me saying get off she's not she's not enjoying this experience it's just like going to the dentist for now I guess they can probably feel the tick when it removes its mouth from the um, hedgehog but oh god she's covered I've just moved I've just moved a few spines at the back look oh god how have you got so infested I'll do it. I'll try to count the ticks afterwards. I can't concentrate counting ticks while I'm trying to work on it and film, do the camcorder and everything. So, but uh, this is going to end up being dozens. And one time I, I took ticks off a hedgehog and it took me literally over an hour because I, I ended up removing something ridiculous like 70 ticks off one hedgehog once. It was absolutely covered in them. It's probably um, it had been hibernating for months and. Ticks, you know, if, if something's not moving, ticks just have a free feast, so they'd absolutely cover this hedgehog. Far worse than this one here. I mean, this is bad. This is the second most infested one I've ever had. Most hedgehogs can pick up one or two he uh, ticks every few weeks, but um, to get this many, I don't know. This is pretty bad. And from my notes, I, I've checked this hedgehog not that long ago so um, she's picked all these ones up pretty recently actually my god you've got a lot sorry if I'm not filming every I can't I can't get the uh, correct angle on everything uh, but I'm working on the ones up there at the moment let's see if I can turn the box around so I've got a bit further that might work no, if, I got, if I get the hedgehog further away Come on, baby. Let's show them what I'm doing. See, she's got them everywhere. Now, when, once they're in between all the spines, as I said, then it gets really awkward because you're potentially twisting the tool and taking out the odd spine or two. Occasionally, you do accidentally. As long as it's only one or two, it's all right. But don't do any more than that. You don't want to. You don't want to damage the hedgehog. Things I hate ticks, I hate them. Horrible. And this is a hedgehog that I've had coming to me regularly. She keeps coming back because I put out I put out food for hedgehogs every night in my garden. Uh, they love spikes dry hedgehog food, which you can buy on Amazon for I think it's eight pounds seventy nine for a bag. I'll show you what the bag looks like at the end of this video. At the moment, let me concentrate and get rid of all these ticks. You can hear her sniffing at me. She wants to go, basically. She's had enough of this, but uh, I'm doing you a favour, you know. And this is what I mean about the ones that, once they're in between spines, and it gets really awkward to get some of them. You're trying to manoeuvre the tool in between spines. And it, it, it's hard work. Normally, if you can't get a tick within a minute or two, I usually you can give up if you want to try another on another day because there's so many to get anyway oh come on but remember you've got to do the twisting part so that you end up getting all the legs and the head of the tick you don't want to leave the head of the tick in there if you just pull them off with tweezers you're going to leave the head of the tick in there and that you must not do stuck in the tick tool so I'm going to use the other tool to, to kind of push it out and you don't want to get the blood of a uh, uh, that comes out of the tick on you again because that can be um, that can have Lyme's disease in it google what that is right here we go let's work on this side in fact I'm going to turn the torch off because I don't think I need that much light right can you see where those ticks are Let's try and get these ones on the side now. Good God, I don't know how she's got so many. I'm just going to quickly look. My notes. Oh, that's... I last caught her on 30th of May. On the 30th of May, she didn't have any ticks. It's now the 21st of June, so in three weeks, she somehow got all these ticks. Three weeks, and she's got absolutely infested. So somewhere she's been... Well, there's been a whole load of ticks and another it's a good another good idea to have a pair of tweezers if you drop a tick that you've um twisted off her use the tweezers to pick up to put it into your milk bottle ready to dispose of the horrible things 
this usually only takes a couple of twists and the tick will release itself. Another thing I do, if I, if I spot fleas on a hedgehog, I've got a uh, insecticide or spray I can use. You spray the hedgehog and basically it causes the fleas to jump off and die. <laughs> so, be warned, most hedgehogs have some fleas, unless you regularly spray them like I do. You don't want to bring hedgehogs into your house in case the fleas jump off. So you've got to be ready with something to squish them and uh, just a bottle top small round flat thing you can quickly press down the ones that you see that have jumped off and, and squished them have that on hand before you take the hedgehog out of the box you put them in your house on oh my goodness what a lot of work you're giving me to do missus oh no and this one's got one right down in her ear can you see that that is literally inside her ear I don't know as soon as I touch that ear, she's probably going to want to try and curl up. Let's see if I can get that one for you, baby. Oh, what an awkward place to have one. Oh, I've got it. I don't believe it. I'm just going to take the, my hand off. Look. <laughs> Excellent. I'm sorry. You, you might feel that one release, but there we go. Got it. From right inside her ear. Yes. Are you going to say thank you? Oh, it'd be nice if you could say thank you, wouldn't it? Right, so I've got all the ones off the side, this side anyway. Let's turn you around, so let's have a look at the other side. Look, they quite often get them behind their ears. They can get them in their ears, I mean they can get them anywhere on their body, but um, that's her sniffing at me to say get off. You want me to get off, don't you? Let's have a look, let's have a look. Oh no, loads up by her rear leg. Oh, I hate these things. They're so nasty. And now she's moving around, making it really awkward for me. Sometimes you have to give up because a hedgehog makes it so hard for you. Once If they curl up in a ball, it's impossible. These ones are getting harder to get. Light on again on my head torch. That helps. I can see what I'm doing. Yeah, no, I don't know how many I've taken off. It's got to be close to 30, I would think. But I'm not counting, honestly. So. She is absolutely covered in them. Yeah, this is definitely the second most infested hedgehog I've had in my life. That one just fell off, so I'll pick up my tweezers. Horrible thing. Ooh, where'd it go? You nasty, horrible thing. There you go. Ugh. Right, let's get as many as we can. And as you can see, it takes time. It's, uh... Depending on how many there are, obviously, but, um... Hopefully this means next time I catch her to weigh her for my records, I won't have to do all this. Should have another nice clean hedgehog in the area. Okay, oh my god, now there's some up in her spines I've got to deal with. Oh, above her right rear leg. As I said, those ones can be really difficult to get out. They are really difficult to get out there. Oh, horrible, horrible, horrible thing. And this is such an awkward thing to do when they're in between the spines. And obviously you don't want the ticks you've um, captured to breed. So if you put them inside a bottle, put the lid on it, put it in your bin, and boom, they should die. Uh, you don't want to trade on them because you'll burst them and you're going to end up with hedgehog blood and the saliva of the ticks on your shoe and... Potentially, when it bursts, it'll go on you. And as I said, you don't want to catch Lyme disease, which can, if untreated, prove fatal to humans. So, obviously, not all hedgehogs have, and not all ticks have Lyme disease, but you don't want to take that chance. So, 
wear gloves, watch videos, read up on how to do this, if you're going to do this, and be careful. Wow, this is just unbelievable how many she's picked up in the three weeks. I'm just amazed. I'll show you what they look like in the bowl once I've got as many as I can deal with in tonight. I can still see at least three or four. But I've got a lot. I'm sure you'll admit you should be impressed with this because normally, like I said, normally I said the average time you catch edge or they've got about two or three. To get this many is uh, unusual. Like I said this is the second most infested one I've ever had and somehow she's picked up all these in three weeks so good god I don't know where she's been to get so many in that short time but um just disgusting things Ugh. if you want to help hedgehogs they also obviously need to drink so if you put out a bowl of water for birds they'll drink from that uh, make sure it's shallow, you don't want the hedgehog to drown. So food and drink obviously they need. A pile of leaves to nest in would be good, or you can buy hedgehog houses these days. I bought one with a webcam so I could potentially film anything going inside them. In the year or two I've had it now, they've never used it as a place to nest, so I wouldn't bother. Don't start with one with a webcam. Save yourself some money, just get a cheapo one or make yourself one and if they do end up using it then you could maybe fit a webcam afterwards but um good god just every time i move the hedgehog i'm finding new places where she's got them you're absolutely covered in them you see i just touch a bit of her back and there's another one there on the back this is unbelievable you can see I'm counting now, I'm looking at my camcorder, I've been recording this for 17 and a half minutes. I don't know how many people are going to want to watch the entire thing, but I'm going to film this entire process just so you can see the dedication and the time it can take. Oh, good God. Uh, Tick Twister Tools, from my memory, I think I paid, it was either two or three pounds for it on eBay, so don't pay more than that. All they are is tiny plastic tools. I mean, God, it probably only takes about five pence to manufacture these. Um, so don't pay any more than that. As I said, I'm happy with the O'Tom's Tick Twister tools I bought. First set I bought, they've lasted well. I mean, it's, as I said, they're only plastic, so there's not much that can, in theory, go, go wrong with them. They shouldn't wear out. There's one up here behind, quite close to her left ear. Yeah, there it is. So as I said, when once they're in between the spines, it can be really awkward to get at them. You have to wear gloves. It's impossible to handle a hedgehog without good gloves. And I found that thorn-proof gardening gloves are really good. They're not foul, uh, foolproof. You can still end up getting stabbed by the spines even when you're wearing them, but they are, they cut out 99% of the times you'll get stabbed. So, I highly recommend you wear them. I'm using a pair that's, the brand is Briars, B-R-I-E-R-S, they're very good. Right, that is the majority of them. I'll we'll just have another quick scan here, there's another one on a, near a bum. Goodness me, this is absolutely crazy how many she's got. How did you get so many? And now she's moving around a fair bit trying to escape me. Oh yeah, this is probably like going to the dentist and you just want to go, don't you? You've had enough of me. Yeah, there's still a few more, at least three I've seen. So I'm going to continue, I'm going to make you as clear of ticks as I possibly can. So the next time I catch I don't have to do this again. The 
that sound is me just tapping the tick out of the groove of the tick twister tool and putting it into the milk bowl. Sorry if I'm missing, I'm probably missing a fair few of these uh, removals. I just, I can't move the camcorder every time. It'll just take me too long to do all of this. Okay, that is, I'm safe in saying I think I've got about 99% of them now. Any more? Any more missing? Yes, I've just seen one there. One on your side, yep. There it is. After this, I'm going to weigh her for my records. I, I weigh hedgehogs whenever I catch them, so I can see if they're putting on weight or losing weight. And I write down the time and date I caught them, so I know how often they're in my area. And uh, last year, 2014, I had over 60 different hedgehogs come into my garden. And I know that because I put paint on them to mark them. So 60 different hedgehogs. They do love my area. Because I put out food and drink for them, don't I? Right, madam, you're looking much better than before. Much better, yes you are. Yes you are, you little cutie. I'm not saying there's not any left. I'm going to have a look, but... Uh, I have removed an absolute ton of ticks, haven't I? Yes, I have. You haven't said thank you yet. Oh, there you go, the one behind her ear. It's not over yet. It's not over yet. Okay, so in order to do this, you need something to put the hedgehog on because lots of dirt and stuff falls off them. So the box you brought them in from outside would do if you've got a solid plastic lid. You need tick twister tools, you need a head torch on. It's impossible to keep moving a torch that's on the ground and angle it so that you can see what you're doing. It's better to have a head torch on. Obviously, you don't have to film it like I'm doing. This is just to show people what to do. You need a bottle to put ticks in, and you need a pair of these. Mine's gone blank, what they're called. I was going to say pliers, what are they called? Whatever, whatever these things are called. Oh, there's another one. Another tick on the back. She's attempting to get off the back of the... Um, box. Come on, I know I just saw one. Where is it? There it is. Oh, so there's more than one more. Good God. Yeah, this is, I would say, the second most infected one I've ever had in my life. Um, but once I count, I'm going to change to the smaller tool. But this one is a smaller tick, and it's in between a whole load of spines. It's proving extremely difficult to get. And that's the thing, sometimes you can end up puncturing the sack of the tick and uh, you can get the blood oozing out and you do not want to get that on your hand. I will keep saying that. Alright, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Yes, got it. The smaller tool is um, hard to hold because it's so small. Right, I think there's one more on it. And she's trying to get off the edge, get off. Back up. I'm doing her a favour, Mrs. Stop trying to escape. Where is it? There it is. There it is. There it is. There's one. There's one there, quite a big one there. And she's trying to curl up it when I do that. And it's in a really awkward place for me to hold her. Right. In the lower back side area. Right. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Wow. That was hard work. Oh no, and I forgot there's still those ones underneath her to do. She just curled up into a ball. Oh, I forgot there's those ones on the tummy. Oh no, that's going to be impossible to get. How am I going to do those ones? Because you were just going to curl up into a ball once I do that, aren't you? Yes, you are. Is there a way I can turn you slightly and get some? I don't think so. I don't think so. 
Uh, she's going to try and go up. I need... Where are they? Oh, right. oh no, she's just going to go up. See what she's doing, she just keeps curling up. I might have to um, stop filming. Yeah, I'm going to have to use both hands to try and hold her open to do these ones on her tummy. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to have to do. <sighs> Should I try and film it? I'll try. It's going to be extremely difficult to film. So I'm putting my other glove on, pick her up from underneath, try and get her to open up her legs, try and get her four legs over my left hand. I want her to open up. Come on, come on, come on. She knows what I'm trying to do, I think. <laughs> You're not that silly, are you? She, she knows she's ready to just curl up in a split second. How many are on? Oh, God. One, two, 